you and Adam have some very intense scenes in this moment, in this movie, very intense. So did you two get to bond at all together before filming began? Yeah, we spent time before that, like a few weeks together in Modena with Michael and with a lot of people that knew the real characters and we were doing our research, or part of it. We worked a lot before, but when we got there, we met people that spent time with them. I spent time with the real doctor of Laura and Enzo. I was able to discover real letters that he shared with me, letters between Enzo and Laura that showed a lot of details uh, about the nature of their relationship. So it was very important to have that time there. When you are playing a real character, I think there is an extra responsibility. And you've spoken about the sadness that Laura experienced and you even visited her apartment, right? What was that like? Yeah, uh, Michael took me to the apartment where she lived and, and there were so many clues there, you know, of how she was feeling the last few years of her life and the sadness was shocking because even the pieces of the colors, the materials that she chose, you, you could see that she was living in a deep depression, obviously because she lost a child, but it gave us so much information to be on the real place and also to be able to to visit the factory, to visit, um, to spend this time with their doctor, to be with the people that really knew them, because not so much was known about Laura. Uh, most of the time you would just hear, oh, she was crazy, she was very difficult, but it was not really like that. She was very damaged from something horrible and traumatic that happened to her. And even like that, she kept working for this company and in the shadow, because nobody wanted to give her any credit, and she was one of the first investors in Ferrari. And she was the one uh, handling all the accounting. And he really trusted her for that. But it, they almost had to be, he almost had to be doing that uh, hiding. It was not well seen to give that power to a woman. Like, that's why I felt so honored to give her a voice. And I know for Michael that it was the same thing. We needed to give her a voice because it represents so many women around the world, also today, that keep living in the shadow of men and that keep being constantly invalidated and repressed and suppressed by society. So for me, it was I felt very grateful that I was the one that he chose to give her that voice.